That's what relics are, really old things, right? <laughs> yeah. How old is a relic? Okay, first of all, I don't like the way this conversation is going. Do we you feel like you're a relic? See what I mean? A millennial moment with Maxwell. We're gonna talk about what everybody does in the summer, which is vacations. Do tropical things, like you could staycation, you could far awaycation. Road trips, plane trips, helicopter trips. You could probably take a limo to Vegas. That would be a trip, a vacation. I mean, a stellar vacation would just be like, Good energy, good times, and like the sun for me. And then like the worst would be like any time with your family. Um, when I was in, when I was like eight years old, I went to Turks and Caicos and there were food buffets everywhere. And I loved that trip because it was an all-inclusive resort. And I just walked up, got chicken tenders and took them back to the pool. Some vacations that don't go well are just like ones to like boring places. Like I went to Indiana. <laughs> that was terrible. I went to Indianapolis and it was a Wednesday night and I was like, uh, we were just like, where's the fun club? And everybody laughed at us. So we went to Steak and Shake instead. So some vacation essentials is definitely one, a camera. Like you have to document the whole thing. Cause if you didn't go, if you didn't take a picture of everything you did, did you even go on vacation? <laughs> yep, that's a dolphin. <laughs> <laughs> Look how tan I was. <laughs> you know, like if you're going somewhere tropical, like an SPF, Definitely a reusable water bottle. You can take those on airplanes if they're empty. So just like empty them and bring them on vacation. It does take up a lot of space, but like going green. A selfie stick, pocket ring light, highlighter and moisturizers for sure. So you look glossy in photos. So when it comes to traveling alone in groups or by yourself, I am typically more of a go on my own type of gal, but like sometimes it's nice too to go with some friends because then you could get lost and do dumb shit with your friends in other cities. It's fun like to be a tourist and act like an asshole in another person's city. It's like people do that here all the time. So when it comes to acting like a tourist, we definitely need to remember to respect international laws. But like when you're traveling in America, like if you're in like Washington DC at the National Mall, which is not a shopping place. <laughs> it's not, I mean that the hard way. But no, in America you can act however you want. People are rude all over the United States. People come here from like Ohio and like stand in the middle of the sidewalk. You best believe you could go to Colorado and stand in the middle of the sidewalk there. Bye. Goodbye.